Okay guys, in today's episode we're going to learn the importance of and how to flatten our whetstones. So if you've watched any of our sharpening videos so far, you've probably learned that maintaining your angle and being consistent in everything you do is, is in my mind paramount to the sharpening process and achieving the results that we are all off, we, we are all after. And it's going to be impossible for you to maintain the angle at which you are sharpening your knife if you do not maintain your stones. Um, a stone that is not flat is not going to allow you to maintain a, uh, as perfectly consistent an angle as is humanly possible. So we need to maintain our stones and flatten them every once in a while. I in fact will flatten my stones between every knife and I prefer to use an Atoma diamond plate 140 grit. These come in this 140 grit and 400 grit. Um, obviously the 140 is just going to do things a little bit faster but they're a little bit more expensive um, and in some cases you might not want the most aggressive diamond plate. But for our purposes today this 140 is going to be perfect. Now. Um, a couple of tricks that you can use to determine whether or not your stone is flat. You can draw a grid using a pencil on your stone. Just like so. Where we're removing material from our stone. Uh, I also like to say not too, too much hand pressure when you're using these. I find the more you push, the more pressure you apply, the more inconsistent you are. So light hand pressure, let the weight of the plate do the work for you and just use circular strokes like this and some forward and backward strokes. I like to spin my stone around as well just so I know I'm being super consistent. And now you see all the pencil marks are gone so we know that our stone is flat. We also need to make sure that we are rounding off the edges of our stone when we flatten. The edges of our stone can get very sharp after we flatten out our stone and that can cause damage to our knife when we're sharpening. So simply rounding all the edges and corners of our stone off. And then I like to just give my stone a little dunk in some fresh water after we flattened it and there you go, got a nice perfectly flattened stone ready for sharpening.